Students, alumni, and guests at McMaster University had 2020 in their rear view today. It's like the students' fake homecoming, right? So everybody's ready for it, yeah, I guess. We're you know, ready. we didn't get last year, so we got to celebrate this year. It sold out very quickly, so everyone had to be very on top of it. <laughs> Merchandise was moving, fans were dressed in school colors, and the cheers were loud at Ron Joyce Stadium this afternoon. As well as the quarrels between opposing fans while the Marauders hosted their home opener against the Waterloo Warriors. It's the first time Mac played at home in 700 days. I was hoping for a good, uh, good group of people and it seems like a lot of people are coming out to support the team so that's nice to see. McMaster's official homecoming isn't until October, but students say that's not the case for them after a tumultuous year of COVID-19. I feel like a first year, but it's okay. Yeah. I, definitely a sense of normalcy is, is back. It was definitely hard. Like making friends online and stuff was more difficult than like in person. Unless of an exemption, only the fully vaccinated can enter campus for classes and games. Today, fans had to use the app MacCheck a tool where you can upload your vaccination certificate and daily screening. They must present it upon entry along with ID. Said, you know, basically a, a, a barcode or a SKU co code to, to get in and we were ready to go. McMaster officials say 2,600 tickets were sold for today's game, which is under 50% of the stadium's capacity, a quarter less than what the province allows for outdoor seated venues. We just wanted to make sure we were being a little bit extra safe and make sure our processes were in place. Facilities and events manager TJ Kelly says depending on how well operations go today, a bump in capacity will be considered in the future. Uh, just to see how our processes went today in terms of how quick we could get people in, uh, making sure we we're, our tickets were scanned, the vaccine passport piece worked, our vaccine check worked and then we'll, we'll make a decision on how well our staff did and, and see if it, we were capable. As for the weekend, students say it was everything they hoped for. I know a lot of people missed out for a year, so I wanted to hold back and see, fingers crossed, hopefully things will get better and look where we are now. We get to be at football games and get all these opportunities that a lot of people did miss out on. The homecoming celebrations have not stopped, Adam. This is the scene off of Main Street West. You can see a, a ruckus crowd, hundreds, maybe thousands, flooding the side streets, partying throughout the day. A lot of overcrowding and garbage on the road. Police uh, were there. They did block some of the streets, and they are standing by watching. We did try to reach out to them and ask if any tickets have been uh, laid out so far. We're still waiting to hear back from them.